On January 21, 2019, the plebiscite to ratify the Bangsamoro Organic Law will be held in the core territories of the autonomous region in Muslim Mindanao, along with other areas that would opt for voluntary inclusion into the new region. For the people of Sulu and Tawi-Tawi, there are a lot of things on their minds as to what they want the new Bangsamoro government to be and what issues it should address. Some of these concerns were brought out into the limelight during a visioning session last November 3rd to 5th in Zamboanga City. Among them is concern about the environment, highlighted by Dr. Filemon Romero. For most of his career life, Dr. Romero has focused his efforts on Tawi-Tawi's coastal and marine resources. The reason why we focus on coastal resource management programs is because uh, Tawi-Tawi is so rich in coastal and marine resources. These resources are experiencing a lot of threats. One is dynamite fishing, the use of cyanide fishing, coral querying for infrastructure in building of roads. Of course, there's the issue of over-exploitation of the fisheries. Lately, Dr. Romero has gotten involved in protecting the terrestrial environment in an approach they call Highlands to Oceans. He's amazed that found in the forests of Tawi-Tawi are various endemic species of birds and other animals, among them the endangered kokang, which is similar to the tarashir but found only in Tawi-Tawi. Dr. Romero hopes that the Bangsamoro Autonomous Region will seriously look into managing its resources in a way that will benefit the people. A nutrition officer in Tawi-Tawi points out that one of the major problems of children in the ARMM is malnutrition, specifically stunting, which hinders the growth of children and the development of their full potential. Bakit ba nagkakaroon ng, ng malnutrition or monkeys ng stunting? Maybe because of lack of education sa mga tao, yung sa poverty, yung sa livelihood nila. Pagtuunan nila ng pansin, yung takatawi-tawi, in terms of nutrition, and then sana po magkaroon ng mga free and malawak na edukasyon sa programang nutrition and of course po yung mga livelihood program sa mga parents and sa family. Many of the participants noted the lack of education in Moro areas and thus pushed for free education across all levels. Education, 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 big word yun Sa education, scholarship, hindi kita basta nabibigyan. May scholarship nga, wala namang incentives. Some teachers are hoping that the new Bangsamoro government will help those who do not have the luxury of attending formal education. Nur Aina Hanani narrates how she helped a Taosub girl who had married young, dropped out of high school, and already had two children by age 16 to pursue her studies. Ang ginawa ko ma'am, pinuntahan ko siya araw-araw. Tinuturuan ko siya ng isang kalahating oras, araw-araw. Persons with disabilities lament the lack of support for PWDs in Bangsamoro areas. Some establishments still do not have railings and ramps, while others do not yet grant 20% discounts. Kung ang uh, isang uh, institution o school walang ramp o walang accessibility, paano makapag-aral ang isang PWD, like uh, wheelchair user? Women leaders are working to empower more women to take more active roles in society, like mediating in conflict situations. It's most kasi ang mediation kapag babae. Malumanay kasi ang babae. Parang may exemption kasi pag babae ka, hindi ka pwede gagalawin. So may isang pangyayari na talaga parang kami ang pumasok na parang nag-mediate. Huwag lumaki ang conflict. In terms of livelihood, Representatives from this group of islands want to further increase production of seaweed, even though Sulu and Tawi-Tawi already lead the country, because there is very little available livelihood in the area. I hope that it will be the Bangsamoro Organic Law because Tawi-Tawi is surrounded by sea. The majority of our mamamayan there, their livelihood is seaweed plantation. So I hope that there will be more production. Dr. Romero and his wife are helping out. He says she has already come up with a technology to produce quality seaweed cultivars with better carrageenan content that will be a boon to the industry. 
Laksamanya is pushing for more livelihood to mitigate the issue of halal, referring to Filipinos illegally working in Sabah in Malaysia, and thus driven away by authorities. Because there is no available employment sa kanila doon sa mga islands. Mas marami yung kita nila doon. Talagang hindi magsasawa yung mga kapatid natin na nasa Sabah, Malaysia, na pabalik-balik doon. Because there are different opportunities for them in that place. And that is why I am suggesting that the Philippine government and the Malaysian government should really talk for the sake of peace and prosperity. In the end, the different tribes in the Bangsamoro feel the need to unite and set aside their differences if they want to succeed as a people. We Muslims from different Turkic ethnic tribes, our areas of commonalities is Islam and we are all Muslims. So we should be united. We will set aside the tribes we have, but instead we will hold on to the one plug, the plug of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as a Muslim. Though, yung ball, kasama rin naman ang non-Muslim. 